Hi, and welcome to our day seven of our yoga lockdown challenge. So today we're gonna to start in a seating position again, make yourself comfortable and you can elevate your hips. We're gonna gently close our eyes or have a soft gaze as we're tuning our attention back towards our breath. Place one hand on your chest, the other one on your belly, as we're gonna do our four, seven, eight breath. And then here we go, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold it. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three, Four, hold it. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold it. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let it go, deep inhalation through your nostrils. And a soft exhale through your mouth. Stay here for a couple of moments. So you feel the ripples of your prana, your breath in your body. And then gently open your eyes, release your hands, coming off your prop, coming into side stretches. Inhale, reaching your hands all the way up, imagining pulls upwards as you exhale, bring your right hand down, bend your elbow, look down towards the ground. Then from here, bring your shoulder blades together and then slowly bring your gaze up towards the ceiling, inhaling. And as you exhale, lifting yourself all the way up, coming all the way down, bend your elbows, shoulder blades come together as you look up towards the ceiling. Inhale, and as you exhale, come all the way up. From here, we're coming into our seated cat and cow, place your hands on top of your knees. Inhale, bring your chest forward, feel this expansion across your chest, gaze comes up, and as you exhale, round your spine, chin comes towards the chest. One more time, inhale, expand, gently look up. And exhale, round your spine. And then slowly coming all the way back to center. From here, stretch your legs out one by one. Coming kind of in a forward fold, kind of rowing motion, I like to call it. Inhale, lift, exhale, fall forward. Inhale, ripple yourself up and lengthen. Exhale, fall forward. One more time, inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, move forward. Then from here, swoop your hands all the way behind you. Point your toes away from you, coming into upward facing plank. Inhale, and as you exhale, lift your hips up. Shoulder blades come together and look up towards the ceiling. Inhale, hold. And as you exhale, lower it all the way down. From here, we're coming on towards our hands and our knees as we're going to start our flow, putting all the moves together that we've done until now. So make sure that you are pressing yourself away from the ground, curling those toes under, engaging your core as you walk your hands in front of you. Inhale. And as you exhale, lift yourself up, coming in towards your downward facing dog. Bend your knees up and down a couple of times. And then here we go, inhale, lifting your right leg up, relax your shoulders, engage your arms, and as you exhale, bring your knee in towards your chest, ripple it forward, plant your right foot down, inhale, lift up in towards your high lunge, exhale, pivot on towards your back foot, warrior two, open us across your chest. Now we're adding an asana today, our peaceful warrior, one of my favorite moves is you're being moved forward with your right hand, put the palm of your hand and lift yourself up and then scoop your hand towards the back of your mat. Now you don't want to be hanging here, you want to engage your core and as you relax your right shoulder. You want to feel both your feet firmly in towards the ground, front knee and front ankle in one line, inhale and as you exhale, carwheel your hands down Pivot on towards your back foot, step it back in towards that plank pose, inhale, and as you exhale, bend your knees, 
Inhale, look forward, Chaturanga. Remember, you're engaging your core. And as you exhale, slowly in control, lower yourself down. Inhale, scoop up towards your baby cobra, relax your shoulders. And as you exhale, roll yourself up. First towards a tiny toe sense, so your toes are curled under. Forehead comes down towards the ground. Inhale. And as you exhale, lift yourself up, and then we'll meet again in towards our downward facing dog, coming all the way towards the other side. Inhale, lifting your left leg up. Exhale, bring your knee in towards your chest, roll it forward, step it in between your hands, high lunge. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, pivot on towards your back foot, open up in towards your warrior two. Now I'm facing away from you, just follow my lead here. Imagine you being pulled forward with your left hand, with the palm of your hand, and then from here, you're going to scoop your left hand towards the back of your mat. Again, you want to make sure that you're not hanging in this pose. You're engaging that core and creating that openness across your chest. You want to feel that push and pull sensation, activating your muscles, inhaling, and as you exhale, cargo your hands all the way down, pivot on towards your back foot as you step it back in towards your plank. Inhale, as you exhale, lower your knees, look forward, keep engaging that core, inhaling. And as you exhale, lower yourself, slowly in control, down. Inhale, scoop up towards your baby cobra. And as you exhale, back towards that toe stance and keep those toes curled under. Forehead comes down towards the ground. Relax your shoulders. Inhale. And exhale through your mouth. Inhale, ripple yourself up. Release your toes. Power back a little. Coming into that melting heart. Remember, keeping your knees and hips in one line as you walk your hands in front of you. Your chest is the only thing that moves here. Inhale. And as you exhale, melt your chest down. Forehead comes down towards the ground. Relax your shoulders. Inhaling. And as you exhale, gently lift your head up. Walk your hands closer towards you. Curl your toes under. As you send your hips up, back towards your downward facing dog. Bend your knees up and down a little bit and slowly coming to stillness. Gonna do this one more time. And we're gonna add a couple of moves into the mix. So as you inhale, lifting your right leg up. Now this time you're gonna bend your right knee towards the left side. So you're stacking the hips. You can always imagine that you're a dog peeing here as well. Then from here, bring some of your weight towards your right hand. So you're equally spreading your weight between the three points of contact on the mat. Holding it here, inhale. As you exhale, slowly stretch your leg back out towards your three-legged dog. You're leveling your hips again. And as you exhale, bring your knee in towards your chest. Ripple it forward. Step it in towards your high lunge. Inhale. And exhale, inhale, reach your hands all the way up. Exhale, pivot on towards your back foot, warrior two. Relax your shoulders, openness across your chest. Peaceful warrior, here we come. Imagine that you're being pulled forward. Flip the palm of your hand as you scoop it all the way towards the back of your mat. Relax your shoulders. Keep that front shoulder and front ankle in one line. Imagine that you're being pulled forward, flip the palm of your hand as you scoop it all the way towards the back, relax your shoulder and try to keep your front ankle and knee in one line. Inhale and as you exhale, curl your hands all the way down, pivot on towards your back foot. Inhale, as you exhale, lower your knees, inhale, look forward, exhale slowly and control, lower yourself down, Chaturanga. Inhale, scoop up towards your baby cobra and as you exhale lift yourself up straight towards your downward facing dog bend your knees up and down a couple times going straight towards the other side inhale lift your left leg up and then your knee towards the right side and then keep bringing some of your weight towards your left hand so you're equally spreading your weight between the three points of contact Keep engaging your core, inhale, and as you exhale, come back towards your three-legged dog, bring your knee in towards your chest, ripple it forward, step it in between your hands, inhale, and exhale, catch your breath, inhale, lift your hands up, exhale, pivot on towards your back foot, coming in towards your warrior two. 
From here, keeping that openness across your chest, imagine that you're being pulled forward. Flip the palm of your hand, scoop it all the way towards the back of your mat. Remember, we're not hanging in this pose, but you're engaging your core. You want to create that openness here. You're lifting yourself. Inhale. And as you exhale, cartwheel your hands down towards the ground. Pivot on towards your back foot as you step it back towards your hand pose. Inhale. And as you exhale, lower your knees. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, slowly and controlled. Lower yourself all the way down. Inhale, look up towards your baby cobra. Exhale, lift yourself up. Release your toes, big toes together. Your knees are as wide as the mat. As you sink down in towards your wide-legged child's pose. Relax your shoulders. Lengthen through those arms. Inhale and exhale. Coming into a side stretch, inhale, lift your head up, and as you exhale, walk both of your hands towards the left hand side until you've met your edge and lower your forehead back down. Inhale, reach up, and then walk both of your hands towards the right hand side as far as you can, and then lower your forehead down. Breathing towards the side of your body, your oblique muscles. Inhale, rise, and exhale, come all the way back to center as you ripple yourself up, bring your knees together, bump your hips towards the left side as you release your legs in front of you. Hands are behind you, and then pedal it out from one side to the other. And from here, bring those toes back together, hands are pointing towards you, relax your shoulders, coming back into that upward facing plank, so you point your toes away from you, inhale, and as you exhale, lift your hips up, keep that engagement through the core, shoulder blades are together as you look up towards the ceiling, inhale, and as you exhale, lower yourself all the way back down. One more time, here we go, inhale, and as you exhale, point your toes away from you, lift your hips up, shoulder blades come together, look up towards the ceiling, inhale, and exhale, lower yourself all the way down. Bring your knees in towards your chest as you give yourself a big hug. We're still allowed to hug ourselves. Inhale. And exhale, gently release. Slowly rise all the way up as we're coming into butterfly pose. Bring the soles of the feet together as your knees are as wide as the mat. And you can always use a block and place it underneath your knees here. Lengthening through your spine. Inhale, reach your hands up. And as you exhale, imagine that you're being pulled forward. Now take your time because you want to keep your sit bones on the ground until you no longer can reach. Hands are in front of you. And then from here, chin comes towards the chest. Relax your shoulders. Come in a slow, relaxed forward fold motion. You don't want to be pulling here. And it doesn't need to be painful. You can always bring your hands closer towards you. Staying here for one more breath, inhale, and as you exhale, ripple yourself all the way up, place your right knee in the center, and then your left, as we're going to make it down towards the ground. From here, extending your hands out, inhaling, and as you exhale, slowly and controlled, vertigo by vertigo, keep engaging your core, lowering your lumbar area, your middle back, and then your lower back. We're reaching your hands overhead as you stretch your legs. Inhale. And as you exhale, bring both knees in towards your chest. Slowly roll over your lower back from one side to the other. And then from here, we're going to finish in our supine twist. So you can take your pillow or your block, place it towards the left hand side. Bring both knees in towards your chest. Inhale. And as you exhale, bring both of your knees towards the left hand side. Make sure that your right shoulder is firmly on towards the ground. And then slowly extend both of your hands out. Inhale. And as you exhale, turn your head also towards the left. So you're lifting the same side as your knees. One last breath. Inhale. And as you exhale, coming all the way back to center, roll over your lumbar from one side to the other. As we're coming towards the other side, take your prop and place it towards the right hand side of you. 
knees in towards your chest, inhale, and as you exhale, guide your knees towards the pillow or the prop, extending your hands out, inhale, and as you exhale, turn your head towards the right side. Make sure that your left shoulder is on the ground. If it's not the case, you can always heighten your prop underneath your knees. You want to create that softness for your lumbar area. Inhale, and exhale. One last time, inhaling, and exhale. Slowly coming all the way back to center. Roll over your lower back from one side to the other. As so you're gonna crisscross your ankles, coming back into that rocking motion. Hold on towards opposite feet. As you inhale, bring your knees close towards you. As you exhale, roll yourself up to seating. One more time, inhale. Use your exhalation to round your spine, roll yourself down, and then lift yourself all the way back up. We're going to finish in a seating position today. Again, you can elevate your hips, relax your shoulders. We're doing the three, inhale, four, exhale. Inhale, one, two, three, and exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, and exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, and exhale, one, two, three, four. And let it go. Deep inhalation through your nostrils. And a slow exhale through your mouth. And slowly start deepening your breath. If you'd like to stay a little bit longer in your relaxation, then please feel free. But if you're ready to come out, gently open your eyes. Place your hands in front of your chest. As you inhale, bring your hands towards your third eye for inner wisdom. Gently guide it towards your lips for truth and bring it towards your heart for love. I want to thank all of you for sharing your energy, your focus, and your breath. On the next video, we're going to change up the breathing method, and we're also going to introduce some new movements into the flow. So I look forward to seeing you then. Namaste. Mm -hmm.